When we think of bloodsuckers, we usually think of the fictional kind, vampires. But there are real creatures that will suck our blood, and they could be living in your home or crawling on your skin right now. Here are top 10 bloodsuckers we are going to discuss. Before starting the video please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the like button. Number 1. Leeches. Most leeches are fairly small, they can easily fit on one of our fingers, but in South America, the Amazonian leech can grow as large as 45 centimeters long and 10 centimeters wide. Their razor-sharp jaws clamp onto their prey, in this case, it's you, as they take hold. These leeches use a sucker to draw out your blood, their saliva contains hematin, which prevents your blood from clotting, allowing it to flow freely. They can engorge themselves up to six times their normal weight. The Amazon is also home to the tyrant king leech, with teeth five times longer than other leeches. It can grow up to eight centimeters long. Number 2. Bedbugs Bedbugs may not be the most dangerous creature in the world but they are annoying. These small flat insects like to live in clothing, beds and couches. They particularly like locations that give them easy access to you at night. Their bites are painless, but they will become itchy, painful welts. This can make you lose sleep or develop anxiety and depression. If you find any bed bugs, clean all the affected linens, clothing and bed sheets using hot water and the highest dryer setting. You can also call an exterminator or use an approved pesticide. Don't do what a 31-year-old woman in Michigan did to get rid of bedbugs in her car. She poured rubbing alcohol over the seats of her car and lit it on fire. She was hospitalized with second-degree burns. But she's not the only person to try fighting bedbugs with fire. Number 3. Ticks. If a tick latches onto you, it will feed for several days. Some species can cause Lyme disease in humans. Those ticks carry the Borrelia burgdorferi bacteria. First, it causes flu-like symptoms. The bacteria can spread to your nervous system, joints and heart. But that's not the only disease these little arachnids can spread. Their bite can also cause encephalitis, ehrlichiosis, and Powassan virus disease. Among others, ticks live in wooded areas, tall grass and under leaves. So inspect your clothing after being in a tick habitat. If you find a tick, wash your clothes with antibacterial soap and hot water, and don't twist when using tweezers to remove it from your body. Number 4. Mosquitoes They're the ultimate bloodsucker and the ultimate pest. You could argue that mosquitoes are also the deadliest creature on the planet. Hundreds of mosquitoes have bitten you, so they can't be that dangerous, right? Well, mosquitoes kill about 45 million people every year. Like ticks, mosquitoes feed on multiple hosts and can pick up a disease from one host and transfer it to another. They spread malaria, Zika virus and West Nile virus, among others. If you want to move somewhere without mosquitoes, you only have three choices, the Arctic, Antarctic or Iceland. Mosquitoes are not choosy but they seem to be most attracted to people with type O blood, larger people who exhale greater amounts of carbon dioxide. Number 5. Fleas We usually associate fleas with dogs and cats, but these suckers like human blood too. These tiny insects can jump incredible distances, up to 50 times their height. Fleas can carry and transmit diseases including murine typhus and the bubonic plague. Typhus symptoms include headache, body aches and rash. Symptoms of the plague include fever, fatigue and swollen lymph nodes. The Illinois Department of Public Health reports the plague could have killed 200 million people, including 25 million in the 14th century. In the U.S., there is an average of seven cases of the bubonic plague every year. Number 6. Vampire Bats this is how vampire bats suck blood for 30 minutes unnoticed. Bats are the only mammals that can fly. But vampire bats have an even more interesting distinction. They are the only mammals that feed entirely on blood. These notorious bats sleep during the day in total darkness. 
suspended upside down from the roofs of caves, after sleeping upside in the darkness all day. Vampire bats emerge when the moon appears in order to hunt for food. In one year, a 100 bat colony can drink the blood of 25. Number 7. Lamprey. Unlike bony fishes like trout, cod, and herring, lampreys lack scales, fins, and gill covers. Like sharks, their skeletons are made of cartilage. They breathe through a distinctive row of seven pairs of tiny gill openings located behind their mouths and eyes. But the anatomical trait that makes the sea lamprey an efficient killer of lake trout and other bony fishes is its disc-shaped, suction cup mouth, ringed with sharp, horny teeth, with which it latches onto an unfortunate fish. The lamprey then uses its rough tongue to rasp away the fish's flesh so it can feed on its host's blood and body fluids. One lamprey kills about 40 pounds of fish every year. Number 8. Vampire Finch This bird is most famous for its unusual diet. When alternative sources are scarce the vampire finch occasionally feeds by drinking the blood of other birds, chiefly the Nazca and blue-footed boobies pecking at their skin with their sharp beaks until blood is drawn. Curiously, the boobies do not offer much resistance against this. It has been theorized that this behavior evolved from the pecking behavior that the finch used to clean parasites from the plumage of the booby. The finches also feed on eggs, stealing them just after they are laid and rolling them by pushing with their legs and using their beak as a pivot into rocks until they break. Number 9. Carterope Canderous are small fish, members of the genus Vandelia can reach up to 17 centimeters, 7 in, in standard length but some others can grow to around 40 centimeters. Each has a rather small head and a belly that can appear distended. Number 10. Torpedo Snail Cone snails may be the slowest of any ocean-going snail, but when it comes to dinner, they are speedy and thorough. Their venom is among the world's most effective and deadly. These marine mollusks stab and poison their faster prey worms, other mollusks, and fish in ocean habitats around the world. It's their venom, with its complex and varied compounds, that makes these snails a valuable part of medical research today.